Hello there. So I am a cosmetician, as a lot of you do know, and I'm also teaching Turbo Kick classes. So um, when I go to teach Turbo Kick, I do like to look a little put together. And I've never worn makeup before when I wait, work out. Um, I usually just like normal. I get up in the morning and I go downstairs, I put my workout shoes on and I bust it out and it's never been a concern. But since now teaching um, Turbo Kick as an instructor, I like to be a little put together, like I just said. But um, so the cosmetician person in me is like, what am I going to find that is going to be a really, really good uh, product to put on my skin that's not going to melt off, that's not going to be, um, you know, yucky or feel gross or feel cakey while I'm working out and also don't want, like, <laughs> the makeup sweating off the side of my face and... And I just don't don't want to you know go looking like I ha I'm wearing a ton of makeup right because that's that's just not me either. So I am known as a cosmetician that really um, I promote products with that have a purpose. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I use for my skin uh, when I when I teach Turbo Kick. And uh, it, it's actually really standard the test of time and the test of sweat. And I feel like really good in it. It does not clog my pores um, because it's really good for my skin. Again, skin with purpose. So I'm doing this via iPad. So I'm not really looking at the camera. The camera part is right there. But this part is the mirror. So um, when I'm actually putting the makeup on, it acts kind of like a mirror so I can <laughs> kind of make sure that I'm doing a good job. So anyways, I start um, just by adding Stila 10-in-1 uh, Multi BB Cream. Um, it has a little bit of color to it. So I'll let you just see that. Just take a little bit, okay, and then I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. Um, and I just kind of blend that in with my clean hands without worrying too much about it. Yes, you can use a brush. I wouldn't really recommend a sponge because it, it's such a thin, lightweight makeup that the sponge is really going to kind of rob you of your product. So you see me rubbing my skin like that has kind of made my cheeks a little bit red, but that's okay. That's a natural blush, right? All right. So another product that I love to use and they have since changed the packaging is Cover Effects. It's really, really good for your skin as well. It's a dermatological makeup. And I love, love, love their concealer because it's water resistant, yet the creator um, has made sure that all of their products are good for your skin and they have a purpose of conditioning your skin. So I just dab a little bit. I use, I always use the back of my hand. Look how dark that is, hey? You wouldn't expect it's going to be that dark. But since I'm using it for underneath my eyes and around that area, it's going to really darken or I mean lighten up the area, cover the dark circles that I might have, you know, for that 6 a.m. class. Because you're not tired <laughs> at 6 a.m. No, no, you got to look like you're with it. I might like cover, uh, you know, a blemish or two. Um, might go over the sides of my cheeks where it's red. A uh, little bit extra redness. All right, and it's just kind of, you know, it's a little splash. It's nothing fantastic, but it's it's just a little bit more put together. I don't know, the lighting isn't the best in here because ironically, <laughs> in order for the light to be good, I had to close the curtains, which was, you know, it's a nice little backdrop. Anyways, carrying on. So now that all by itself is going to melt. Okay, I, I don't think it will stay very well. Um, it, you might have the little trickles. So another product I use is the Cover Effects Powder. Again, they have changed the packaging since I've um, added this to my makeup bag. But um, 
I'm 40, okay? And I don't want any lines. I don't want any powder to seep in to my little fine lines. Um, this is actually not going to do that. I am so anti-powder, I can't tell you enough. I've always told people, you know, powder is not your best friend unless you have an oilier type skin. But this is going to set everything for me and it does not nestle into my lines and wrinkles. It does not dry out my skin. Again, because it's dermatological. It's meant to be something with purpose. It's makeup with purpose. It's not going to clog my pores. It's another thing too. So then if I'm feeling like I'm a little bit pasty, I will use the Pure Minerals Hot Rocks. This is like one of my favorite, 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 favorite blushes. You can also use it as uh, an eyeshadow. You can use it as, um, you know, a little bit of color on the lips. But I just use it as a, as a blush. And I use their chisel brush. I just pat it into the product. I swirl it around in the lid. And I just add that little bit of color and glow, right? Pretty easy. It's put together. But again, it's good for your skin. I'll kind of go over because I'm not going to really use any highlighter or anything this morning. Like, it's not like over the top. Okay, so you're wondering, oh, eyes. Eyes are a big thing. So, this one here, I wear it every single time. Stila waterproof liquid eyeliner. It's pretty easy to put on. You just, I've never done this before on a camera like this, so you just lift your eyelid. You know, I'm not going all hard with putting a lot um, of eyeliner on. I'm just going to put it on the edges. And I swear I've never done this like in front of an audience using the video camera as a um, mirror. That's the word. Everyone's yelling out the word. The word is mirror, Karen. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit on the edges. Really not a whole lot, just to kind of bring out my eyes. Um, and uh, so... It does not melt off. You could sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat and this just does not budge. I actually wore it for my certification. Certification is like seven hours of pure sweat and it did not budge anywhere. So the only rule that I, yeah, I'm a little awkward there, but whatever. It's about the products. It's not about how great my application is right now. So, you know, just, just, uh, Remember that when you're putting on this liquid makeup, you don't have to like draw a straight line. You just kind of pat it in and you always, always, always like just little tiny lines. Always lift your eyelid because that's going to help you get right next to the lashes. I used to be terrified of this um, liquid eyeliner, but it's really, it's, it's not a biggie. Okay, so on to lashes. So I'm a biggie. I hate waterproof mascara because like it really totally kills your lashes. So what I do is I use the Art Deco all-in-one um, performance mascara. And what that does is it actually coats my lashes with conditioners and lash growing enhancers, but it is not waterproof. But guess what? If I put a layer on, it's going to protect my lashes against that nasty, nasty waterproof stuff. So I just put a little layer on that of that. And then I use Gosh Waterproof Volumizing Mascara. The reason why I use it is it has a nice lash separating uh, formula so it never looks like I'm over the top with mascara at my you know when I'm working out it's not like clumps and clumps and clumps of mascara it really separates 
But again, it defines and opens my eyes, especially at six o'clock in the morning. And gosh, does not move. So one of the things that I make sure of is that I don't put it on the lower lash line either. Because when you are working out and you do sweat a little bit, guaranteed you're going to get some on the lower lash. Like, it's, it, it, will, it will transfer. It doesn't matter how waterproof your mascara is, in my opinion. So just a little bit for the brows. I, I like Marcel because they have like a dark brown that is not reddish. So I just kind of go over just where my natural brows are and it'll just kind of fill in again. It, it's a finisher so it just makes you look a little bit more put together. So there you have it. Just a little bit. Um, and those are, uh, what's in my fitness makeup bag, I guess you could say. Doesn't take long. Only took 11 minutes and that's because I talk a lot. All right. Have a great day.